On the third Sunday of July 1970, at 10 o'clock in the morning, three cars and a Ford truck parked in front of the wide flight of steps of the Metropolitan Museum. A dozen young people got out of the cars and started to take sculptures from the truck to the steps. Small and big ovoids, all white, were placed on top of the steps. The sun was white, the shadows short, dark and sharp. The sculptures swayed on the steps. A lapse of time measurable in cardiac frequency and all of a sudden, the participation, the happening. After a while, two of the museum guards came out to check what was going on. They muttered, whispered in their walkie-talkies and went back inside the museum. Then the museum guards came out in teams and started to seize the sculptures and stack them by the side of the entrance. They had become objects of contention and had to be eliminated. A couple of guards decided to throw the small sculptures in the garbage cans along the side of the steps. In a little while, the baskets were full of small ovoids. But the ovoids resisted. Their vibrations forced them out of the basket, spilling over onto the steps once again. The performance continued. The spectators became involved with these fragile forms that needed to be free. Shadows ran after each other. The ovoids, like dragon's teeth, grew back immediately. The Metropolitan Guards lost their patience and started to get angry. Could these ovoids hide some real danger? A new Trojan horse? The guards attacked the bigger ovoids, but they rolled and stood up again. When some of the guards saw that people were putting them back on the steps, they started to bring the ovoids into the museum. At this point, the New York City police arrived while I was forcefully holding back one of the most belligerent guards who was kicking and breaking my work. The police did their best to calm the tension. The guards hurried to bring the last ovoid remaining inside the Metropolitan and then closed the museum doors.
think of this? What do you think is going on? I have no opinion. For all I know, you're endangering the lives of people walking up and down these stairs. What are your impressions of uh, that event just now? I think that uh, we resent very much the fact that you are the oppressed instead of the, op the oppressors. <laughs> take that. <laughs> it's time. Good. I think that you imagine you're oppressed, but that you would like to be the oppressors. Oh, the, really what's going on is, is someone would like to change roles. That's what I believe, yes. Isn't that true of most isms? What ism do you think you uh, were, was being displayed today? Some leftism. A leftism. Perhaps a schismism. A schismism. A gapism. Something like that. And you, do you feel anything uh, will come of it, uh, positive? Nothing will come of it. It was a novel idea, and uh, these things are a lot more artistic than some of the garbage you see in museums, but nothing will come of it. Did you see the guard break up the pieces? Uh, I think I saw one of them, yes. Uh, how did you feel about that? Well, they don't belong... Uh, on the steps of the museum. Perhaps to him it wasn't great art. Why doesn't it belong on the steps of the museum? Because the uh, powers that be uh, don't accept it as a museum piece, as a proper um, manifestation of artistic endeavor. What did you think of, uh, what did you think of those uh, objects? No, I'm not so good in English, I'm a German, but I think it's a, a very good idea because uh, uh, Arts, uh, they can't do uh, days that uh, they uh, bring arts into the museum and uh, nobody, uh, there's no uh, social uh, effect, you see. Uh, well, I like the art. I think it had a point, definitely. But then, I'm a little baffled as to the person who called the guy a motherfucker, because I don't see that that solves anything either. I mean, that guy, the worker who took down that art, Sure, he was. Okay, it's his job. You thought he was. Ju you, you thought he was justified in breaking it. No, I don't think he was justified. You see, but I think the guy is of that level of mentality, and I think he's one of the oppressed people that we're talking about here. He's not a free person. He's oppressed by the art elite that runs. Um, what do you think it'll accomplish? Fantastic. I don't know what it's going to accomplish, but um, I think it points out uh, kind of how the museum feels about art and people. Did you, read, did you read the manifesto over there? I think the last statement on the top sums it up. The museum spends millions of dollars to buy an art elite. And the uh, museums are guilty of classism and racism. Pretty well sums up a lot of how the museum feels. How did you uh, feel about uh, that manifesto on the eggs? Excellent. Quite excellent. I believe in it. Thank you.